This is Ralph Irvin at Easton Stadium where Saturday night the UCLA Bruins came back to beat UC Berkeley 3-1. With two outs in the bottom of the seventh, Julie Bernie broke up a no-hitter with a double to center field. Then Kayla Scholl earned a walk, bringing up B.B. Bates. There was a timeout and I went up to coach and she was like, this is what you signed up for. And I was like, I want this so bad. And then just in the box, I was just so relaxed. And I just slowed everything down. I felt really good. In practice, we play like we have pressure. We play every practice like a game. So just being able to be prepared for that, it felt really good because I knew that in practice, I do the same thing. So just in the game, just bring it there and slow it down. Just wow. You know, um, I think in the bigger picture, like I said last night even, you know, this, this, this time of the year is going to create some big moments. And those big moments are going to be are going to be there for some big time Bruins. And you got to love this. you got to love, you know, we create this opportunity. We practice this down by down by one, bottom of the seventh, our home field. You got one strike left. What do you got? And to see a freshman step up in that position and be able to come through as big as she did just says volumes of where this team is right now. The depth in our lineup is solid. The experience is exciting. But the, this team's competitive excellence is what's going to carry us through to the end. We have no control, but we have a belief. Give us one pitch and anything can happen. You know, the big time moments are fun, but it's the little things. You know, you're exactly right. Julie Burney being able to, to lead it off as a senior, going to the next senior, and Kayla Scholl, and that's a crucial walk. And the best part about that is she had said earlier she chased the ball and she struck out in her last at bat. And she's like, I'm going to make an adjustment. I'm not going to chase it. So that was crucial. Their ability to make adjustments within a, within a game and then to be able to pass it down to the freshmen is where you say, wow, this is, this is exciting stuff. So you're right, those little things um, down to Megan and coming in and stopping the bleeding and doing some, some really exciting things, that's where experience kicks in. So we have a great blend. We have experience, we have some youth that just loves to compete, but in the bigger picture, this team has a belief and they stick together and as a team, this was a big win for us tonight. Oh, you mentioned the three seniors. Tomorrow you get to honor them with their final regular season home game. I mean, you know, and, and it's it's a big day. It's a, it's an emotional day, as always. This could be potentially be their last home game, um, but they respect the game. So we'll have a moment for them, and then we get out here and we respect the game and we go back at it again. Definitely. It'll be a fun day tomorrow. Once again, UCLA a 3-1 winner over UC Berkeley. The Bruins and Bears wrap up their three-game series on Sunday with a noon start here at Easton Stadium. It's also senior day as the Bruins play their final regular season home game. Of course, the latest news and notes on UCLA softball, you get it all right here at uclabruins.com.